but right now it's not showing me the whole screen. Okay, so if I say files, it's trying to bulk up my thing with crap. Every time I say clean, it says no. We don't know why. Okay. All these are important. So if I take these ones down here at the bottom, like the four gigabytes, which I probably could, you know, move to drive. I don't want to move them to trash. I don't want to sort them. It's being crazy. The only option it gives me is throwing them away. So here, let's see, browse. And see, I'm not sure where those giant files are on this thing. They could be under movies or camera, I'm not sure. But if I scroll all the way down, oopsie, it doesn't show me anything. See, it doesn't show me anything between before October 29th. If I go to camera and scroll down, it doesn't show me anything before November 6th. If I say film or go, Oops, film where I go. It looks like the, the um, stalker is already trying to change things. Look, see, it doesn't let me access some things. We don't know why, but look, there it goes all the way back to October 29th. So that's good. I like those. Here, download. I just have this. Now, I already recorded this myself, and it's in the somewhere else as well. So I want to move it to not internal storage. I want to move it to my drive. Now watch this and see what you think. Is that what it should look like when it says location my drive? Because remember C put a bunch of malware on my device. And I'm not sure that's really my drive and I want to be able to get to these things again. So I'm going to save it to my drive. Because see how they're targeting these videos that they really want to affect the change on? Okay, so now I go here and I say, um, hold on, I go here and I say files. I'm only trying everything I have to focus on this right now. And I look at drive. It is 2.09 p.m. Do you see it? I don't see it. So we shared it somewhere, but not to our drive. We don't know where it went. Probably to the stalker. So let's see. Probably to that thing that Christian created, the d.discover.docs, where my PowerPoint went to. And we don't know why he did that either. It doesn't really make much sense. Here's a 3.9 gigabyte file. Let's go ahead and try to share it to the drive. Save. Okay, maybe it doesn't have enough storage to do that. But if I go to my drive, it should say uploading. It does not. These people are trying to obstruct my ability to do my job. Okay, I did not put this malware on here. C did, and then he left. Which is good that he left. He needs to have a fresh start so that people can experience him on his own merits and see if he's as difficult as he is with me with them. And I need time to figure out how to extricate myself from all of these things that he's put on me that I don't need. Because remember, civil containment is against the law. You can look up what it means, okay? Yeah, that's not the right word. Okay, now 
I guess you can improve this in people civilly, but imprisonment. Imprisonment without trial or or Okay, so I don't have to put up with these restrictions on my behavior. I don't have to have my computer full of malware. I don't have to have people being awful to me. I haven't done anything except for not want to talk to these people and make good real estate decisions. That's it. They literally have followed me around for 25 years. I don't know why. I don't need to know why because it's crazy behavior. I don't pollute my mind with insane actions. So I need to understand what to do about it. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to explain to people that this is what that is. These are all built by the same person. They were all put on my computer by the same person. See, Federated Compute, this is racist. Nearby half sheet, that's me. I am the nearby half sheet. This is racist stuff, and I bet it's not even recording anymore. Oh, what a miracle. Okay, so this is imprisonment without due process. I've never been accused of hurting another person, ever. The only things I've ever done is discipline and self-defense. And even saying that, those words conjure up something that is nowhere near anything that I have ever done. Okay? These people have these problems, and they're trying to put them all on me. That's why they have work set up, personal safety, the U what WB resources, okay? They're criticizing me for how I live my life, and they're imposing restrictions on me that I don't need. And I bought this for $85. Well, actually, I've paid $120 for this. And it did not have this when I bought it. This was imposed by C, by infringing on my personal rights, coming into my room, putting malware on my router, and inflicting it on my device. And that's what I mean. So all I'm saying is that that's not okay. I shouldn't have to keep worrying about whether I have enough space to do things when there's 11 gigs worth of apps on my device. And they're not my apps. Like, look, these are the only apps I have on my device. I don't even have any streaming apps on my device. And I have another whole tablet that's just for using for work. And he broke it, the first one because he didn't want to have me have access to things that weren't backed up on Google One, because then he can try to get my email password, which is his incessant need to do, and download them, okay? And he always wants me to get more storage instead of storing things on my device, and it's very oppressive. So I just wanted to give you that example. I'm sorry to sound preachy, but anyway, so it is. And just remember, this is not me, but there is a person out there walking around without these restrictions that actually needs them, or else he couldn't impose them on me. Probably a family member of his. Maybe even that guy that was so insistent on trying to be one of his children. People are, are rabid about trying to free their children from mental torment that they imposed on themselves by their birth or whatever. And I totally understand that, but I can't take it on for them. Okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Thank you for listening.